Hello, I'm Madhini Ariam. In this video, I'm going to talk about entrepreneurial myths, the truth behind them. When you are planning to start a business, you will hear the first reaction from the people around you will be, why are you starting the business? Everybody, all the business, most of the business fail sooner or later and you will be wasting your money and time and you are doing a good job now and you will be regretting it. And also you will need a lot of money. Where will you, what will you do for the money? And the other thing, last but not least, they will say, you will not be successful, you are not good at running a business. And you will have to hear all these when you are starting the business, the negativity of of the business negativity you have to overcome. Move away, the best thing is move away from the pessimist people and do not just turn to ignore all that. That's the best thing. And here are the myths. We, I'm going to talk about some of the myths in running a business. How to, you have to, first thing, you have to get over the negative remarks and build your confidence within yourself. And then you'll become too busy. You think, you think, I become too busy and I won't have, I won't have a personal life. That's not true. Once you have planned, once you plan and once since you're planning and good organization and will give you plenty of time. You cannot neglect your personal life as well. That's very important as well because you have to be helpful to the family and you have to have uh, time for yourself. So everything depends on your planning and organizing the business, the running of the business. And then when you are running in the business, you want to become successful. If you had to be smart and cunning to be a successful entrepreneur, because you have to raise the prices. When you raise the prices, you will have goods. You will make good deals, but it will not help you in the long run raising the prices all the time. You have to find a balance between the customer and the supplier. Then keep a you. Keep a pricing strategy and follow it properly in the long run. That will help you in the long run. You might think, I have been working so hard in my job and here is it's going to be the same thing. That's not true. You have worked hard in your job, but maybe you didn't like the job and you felt really tired of the job. But even in a business, you have to work hard. But the only difference is when you are working hard and and if you like, if, when you work what you like, you will not feel the long hours, you will not feel the time passes, you will, you will be enjoying because you love it, that's the reason. So business is better when compared to long hours job. Have you got a creative idea? You don't need to have a creative idea. It's everybody just start the business copying others and you don't need to copy word by word. You just copy how comes the same type of businesses in different locations because they are same type of businesses like that. You, st you start one of the businesses. You look around for the business. You start one of the businesses you like or you start your, lose your hobby as a business, hobby to start as a business. You will be your boss. You, when you are starting your business, you think, oh, I'm the boss, I'm so happy, nobody is going to question me, anything like that. That is not true, that is wrong. Your boss is your customers. If, you, if, you are, if it is a big company, if they lose customers, it will not affect them because they are used to losing and gaining customers. But in your case, you are a startup, you have got few customers, you cannot afford to lose them. So you've got to listen to them carefully and respect them and you have to do what they want, at least to start with. So they are the bosses for your business. The people will say, you need a lot of money to grow. You don't. You don't need a lot of money to grow. That does, again depends on the plan. In some businesses you have to buy stocks and replace them when it 
finishes. But most of the business nowadays, they start with a computer and a phone line and still they are making good money. Say, for example, if you are starting a bookkeeping business, you don't need money at all, only a computer and uh, the phone line. So to start with, later on you can just advertise uh, cost and buying uh, packages and things like that. That's also not expensive. It's, it's not it's not uh, expensive, it's cheap. The three things you need, planning, organizations and your knowledge. That's where you need for a business and you can make your money. Do you think that you will have to do, you will only have to do what you can do? When you are running a business, say for example, you are running a catering business, because you are good at cooking, catering business, you are doing very well because food, food is the thing everybody wants, you are doing very well because you are supplying the food to the customers, uh, your community wants, so you are doing very well. But there will be things that you will not be able to do, you might not be able to do the mark, proper marketing. For the time being when the people around you, they will start buying and you think you are doing well, it doesn't work like that, you have to do proper marketing and proper advertising and all that, you might not be good at it. And Last but not least, you have to do accounting for it. You have to collect all the bills and file it and all that. So in the areas that you are not good at, you have to learn to dedicate the job to somebody else, hire someone, outsource or freelancer. You can do not try to do anything. You can go for a course, but with a catering business like catering, you will not have the time to go for a course. You will not have much time to learn new things when you are starting the business. Maybe in the long run you can learn slowly, but not right away you have to hire somebody. So, some of the above myths may be true and may not be accurate and have good, good and bad news for you. The only aspect of these myths, you have to be careful in considering it. To get ideas, to analyze, to get ideas, what you have to do is, you have to analyze the feedback and comments from the people who do not have any business experience. They will just say something, you have to make a note of it and you have to sit down and analyze it and create your new ideas. I think these tips are good enough for you if you have an entrepreneurial idea to set up a business. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you. Bye for now. I'll see you in another one. Thank you.